Hey Veritas, it has been a tough couple of years, hasn't it? I want to provide you a space of encouragement. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the parenting conference coming up on November 12th and 13th. Um, so Martha and I, I just want to start with a little story. Martha and I started the pandemic with a one-year-old. And now we have an almost three-year-old and a one-year-old. And throughout the last couple of years, there have been so many situations, the end of the day, where we look at each other with no strength left, just kind of shaking our heads like, how are we gonna get through this? What is the key to surviving as a parent in these times? When you consider the ongoing concerns around health, the changing landscape of socialization, the inconsistency of our education system, and just a general sense of fear, it has been hard to lead our families, to shepherd our children, as if that isn't already difficult enough. And what I'm getting at is that the difficulties of parenting, and specifically parenting these days, is that it creates this survival mode. And when you are parenting out of survival mode, you are parenting to survive. And so what I want to encourage you with is that there is a God that we serve who loves us, who is near and present to you, who cares for you, who sees your struggle, who wants to come alongside you in that journey. And there's a way to parent that he he can grant us access into seeing um, and the ability to carry out um, that is filled with hope, but it altogether changes our focus. So the parenting conference on November 12th and 13th is based on Paul Tripp's book, Parenting. Um, if you haven't already, I encourage you to get this book. If uh, you're not able to, uh, we will have a sign-in sheet at the conference where you can request a book and we'll make sure you get a copy. But this book is fantastic and was very formative for me as I became a parent. But what Paul Tripp challenges us to see is that a lot of the things that exhaust us and frustrate us and drive us into survival mode is actually driven by the fact that we want to build our own kingdoms as parents. But we are involved in God's kingdom. And that means we do things God's way. And that means we see the things that God sees. We see the matters of the heart. We see matters of worship. God did not come in and save us with behavior management. He came in and saved us and then took our blindness and helped us see. And to this day, we know that God will carry out the work that he started. He will see it to completion. And that work is, those, those are matters of the soul, matters of the heart. And so I hope that if you can make the parenting conference that you'll sign up and you'll be there. Um, I encourage you parents, if you can get childcare um, overnight, Friday to Saturday, please do that. Um, Martha and I are going to attempt to do that as well. Um, and the reason for that is I want you and your spouse to have an opportunity to dialogue about what we will be discussing in the parenting conference. Um, I also want you to be able to make it to prayer um, at eight o'clock on, on Saturday morning um, before the conference uh, gets underway again. So we're trying to set up a space um, where you guys will learn, but also a space that will be somewhat therapeutic, hopefully. Um, a space where you can take a deep breath, um, reconnect and recalibrate um, as we all collectively fix our eyes on Jesus. Um, now, for those who cannot make the conference, if you really want um, to be involved in some way or to get some of this information, please email me, reach out to me um, and say, hey, I can't make the conference, but I would love um, access to the content. I can get you some digital content that will be worth your while. Um, so I want this to be accessible to as many people um, as possible, to those who want it. Um, but I hope that this can be a moment of encouragement for our church. All three congregations are invited. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I'm praying for you guys. Thankful for you. I'll see you soon.